It's uh, Dale from Reedy Theatre live at NAM 2016. We're just at Marshall at the minute. Steve's going to give us a quick look at the new um, code range. So, what can you tell us about it, Steve? Okay, so code is our new range of digital guitar amplifiers. Yeah. Okay, and it's basically the code 25, which is the smallest, which is 25 watts. Yeah. The 50, which is the one I'm plugged into. And we've got the 100s, which are out on display yeah, on, on the, the big booth. Boys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then. Even though the wattage is different, on all three you're still getting the same amount of features and amps and effects and all that sort just of stuff. Just the volume, just, yeah, essentially. Just volume and size, okay. So, um, basically the amp, let's creep down here a little yeah. bit if we can. <clears throat> as you can see from the panel, it's got a traditional layout as far as your basic amp controls yeah. go. Uh, but then on the top we can see all the, uh, the extras that we've put in here, so... What this represents is the signal flow of a tr traditional yeah. guitar setup. So we've got the pre-effects, which are your, your stomp box type effects. Then your preamp type, okay. Then the modulation effects, such as like your flanges, phases, all that kind of mm -hmm. thing, okay. Delays, reverbs. Then the power amp type, okay. Then the cabinet, okay. And then, then basically you can mix and match as many types of preamp with power amp. Right, so basically you're crafting your own, yeah. your own amp basically yeah. if you want to do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, everything is accessible on the amp itself. Yeah. Okay. So you don't need to download um, the gateway app if you don't want to. No. Okay. You can do everything on the unit itself. Okay. Um, but we will show you everything on the gateway app because it's a lot easier to use and it looks yeah, really cool yeah. <laughs> as well. Um, yeah, it does look cool. Yeah, it? yeah. So, um, as you can see from this screen here, yeah. this is showing me the current setting I'm on, so number one, Plexi Classic, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's showing me what the basic amp controls are set to. If you want to edit on the, the device, on the phone in this case, okay, literally put your finger on and slide up and down to adjust. Is that connected with a cable or is it a wireless thing? Okay, the cable's just for the TV. Okay, so it's fully Bluetooth. wireless. Blue, That's Bluetooth cool. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah, it's Bluetooth. So, uh, so as you saw him edit on there, it yeah. changed on the screen or on your device. Yeah. Um, but if I actually start moving controls... Yeah, yeah, so it's linked in up there as well. Yeah. It's also showing me the original setting, which was 3.3. Yeah. So that's a good reference that's cool, if yeah. you're, yeah, you, you kind of get So if, you, if you're playing editing. around and you want to just go back to what it yeah. was, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, um, so I'm seeing actually is this a preset that's in, in there the so unit. you've got if you want to just dial in a plexi it's in there you don't need to try and find out what no, it no. is. No, no. Right. There's basically a hundred presets. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can edit and store over any of those. Okay. okay but what we've tried to do is put all the iconic sounds in that that's, big that's line, what you like to use and start as yeah, a starting yeah, yeah. point. Okay. So for this particular one if we hit amp Okay, we can actually see what we're running into. So the preamp type is a Plexi. Okay. The power amp type is a classic Marshall 100, so we're listening to EL34s. And then we've got the cabinet type at the bottom, which in this case is a 1960X. Mm -hmm. So that's a 4 by 12 with greenbacks. Yeah. Okay. I'll do a little bit of playing in that particular style of tone, you know, yeah. Plexi sort of classic okay, rock sort of thing. And then Dave's going to um, literally scroll through a different um, a couple of the, the cabinet types basically. Yeah. So we're starting off with a 412, then we're here a 112, 2 by 12, and then see what different better. vibes yeah. gives you. Yeah. Yeah. So you can actually see from there, there's yeah. a genuine difference. Massive difference. Yeah, yeah. And it actually does what it's supposed to. There's a lot of other products out there trying to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, you know, this, this does it. This does it. <laughs> yeah, the main, the main focus with this, with this product was not to just try and cram everything into a unit. It was yeah. to, to give people, yeah, lots of stuff like the app and all the effects, but yeah. the focus was the guitar tone first and foremost. Mm. Okay. So we'll just go for another um, iconic sort of guitar sound. We'll go for, there we go, American Clean. Okay, so you can see where this one's yeah, going. Can, I've got name. a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 
So with that particular preset, there's a little bit more going on with the effects. So Dave's just pulled out the effects section. And what we can see there is, if it's greyed out, we're not using it, yeah. it's bypassed. Mm -hmm. So we're actually using a studio delay and a room reverb on that particular preset. Again, if you want to edit any of those, tap on the particular one, so it's just hit delay. We can choose, that's it, from one of four delay types, that block. And then if you want to edit any of the parameters, same mentality, just slide up and down yeah. on that particular one. Mm -hmm. If you know you want a specific parameter, such as the delay time, you can hold it down and you get the keypad oh, come up. Yeah. So you can type that in. Or if you do the same thing, there's a tap tempo in the corner. Cool. You can also tap tempo on the amp itself. Okay. If we go for another type of guitar tone, some a little bit more heavier. Okay, there we go. Console hall. So this one's got a JCM 800. Nice. Uh, effects wise, um, we've got a delay and a reverb again. But at the front, you can see this time we're using a distortion pedal, which is right. based on the Marshall Governor. Right. Okay, so we've got this. Now, when I play this, I probably won't work now, I say it. <laughs> but um, if you listen to how it responds, you know, the, the, I'm going to try and get some of that feedback that you get yeah, from the drive valve. Pedals, um, so. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> say obviously you probably won't be able to tell this on the video but with a lot of these sorts of amps usually it sounds when you turn it up it sounds muddy and it just doesn't sound right but this actually it's yeah. it's doing it really well like yeah, you've yeah. got the volume but it's not it doesn't feel squished no, no, it, it no. does actually seem to react That's like, it, yeah. like a proper valve amp it doesn't sound weird because yeah. usually these are usually fine for the bedroom but yeah. When you start to, to crank them up a bit, they do get a little bit lost, yeah. but this one seems no, no. to be... Like I say, the, when, when we were working on this, it was like amp first. Yeah, the amp's yeah. got to sound good. Yeah. You know, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, um, so, like I say, it's nice and easy to use. Yeah. You can see that. Um, but, again, responsiveness, if we go back to that original sort of plexitone, I think I already said, but based on what I've just said, again, it's, it's how it reacts. So even if I use... The volume knob, for example, yeah. on the guitar itself, it actually cleans up the way you'd want it to with that particular sound. So, again, going back to that sound. Yeah. So it's not reacting like a digital amp, really, no, no, is it? Sure. It's sort of listening to what the guitar is yeah. doing. Again, with some other different ones, if you roll back the the volume on there, it'll just sound a little bit yeah, yeah. gritty and just not, goes thin. It, yeah, and exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it seems to react really well as well. So, it's, so yeah. So more on the really gateway app, um, we've got a playback section. Okay, which basically whatever you've got in your device, song-wise, whether yeah. you're using iTunes or something similar, I don't know, you can play wirelessly through the amplifier. Cool. You can play along. And what what you can also do, which is great, is you can slow the track down. Um, without altering yeah, the, uh, the so pitch, you can, so you can work phrases out or just yeah. play, play a bit slower. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then on the menu, we've got the connection, which is our Bluetooth thing. Yeah. Then we've got a built-in tuner as well. Okay. So again, the tuner is on the amp. It's on a display on that too. Okay. Okay. But as you can see visually, um, we've got the layout there. So we've got each of the six strings, and the middle line is basically when you're in tune. Yeah. But what's really cool is we've got a tuning library. Oh right, that's tuning. cool. Yeah, so drop tunings, open tunings. Yeah, it's a lot easier to just get straight in there. Yeah, so. yeah. So that's code. Does everything Great. you need it to? <laughs> cool. Cheers. Yeah. Uh, if you need any more information, just check out the link below.